In ancient times, people have utilized jars to transfer water from their reservoirs using container to container pouring them manually. Now that process would have been effective but with our knowledge today, it wouldn't be the most efficient way. Physics have brought on a new dawn of knowledge which utilizes the study for practical use. A siphon is the best example for this situation. Hello, my name is Robin Victor Dispo and today I'll show you what a siphon is and how it works. A siphon is a long bent pipe that is used to transfer liquid from a reservoir at a higher elevation to another reservoir at a lower level. When the two reservoirs are separated by a hill or a higher level ground, To create our miniature model, we need the following materials. First, a long bent pipe in which water travels to. Two containers which acts as a reservoir. And objects that can be used for elevation. Take a container filled with water and stack it on top an object for elevation. Place an empty container beside the object used for elevation. Take a tube and dip one end in the container with water. Form mouthing on tube. Place the other end of the tube in the empty container. Repeat the process but with varying elevations. The model siphon that we've made follows the principles of hydrostatics, the relationship between the height of the fluid column and its pressure. The highest point in the tube actually has lower pressure than atmospheric pressure. This allows water to flow upward due to the low pressure pushed by the atmospheric pressure in a glass. Once the water passes through the peak, it is then gravity's responsibility to carry it the rest of the way is the lower elevation to have a greater velocity. Also, as the siphon follows the principles of Bernoulli's theorem, it is likely noted that the velocity when observed changes as height changes. The setup where the elevation is the same height as the empty container showed to have the greater velocity. When decreasing the height of the elevation, it also decreases the velocity of the water exiting the tube. In conclusion, the siphon follows the principles of hydrostatic pressure. This explains why there is a flow of water within the tube from container to container with an elevation. Also, in Bernoulli's theorem, it explains why there is an indirect proportion between height and the velocity of water exiting the tube. 